Hey there, okay, <laughs> we're recording. I can't believe this, I actually recorded this video. I said, okay, I'll upload it to YouTube now and I didn't record the audio, so hopefully it's working out. <laughs> and what I want to show you right now is a really, really cool plugin that allows me to replace this previous version that I had of my calendar and especially of my weekly reviews. Like, for instance, if I am on this week right now and I want to write a weekly review, I would have to go here and create it from here. Now, this is not very beginner friendly. As you can see here, I have some created notes that I was just testing. I'm gonna delete them now actually so that it makes sense for you. <laughs> cool, there we go. So yeah, all of these weekly reviews, I usually just had this table. This was created uh, by um, a member of the forum and he shared it and it was really, really cool. And I really like this setup, but it's hard to set up. It's difficult if you don't have that much um, you know, skill with a script and bash script in my case because I'm on Linux then this is going to be hard to set up and there's a much better way which is what I want to talk about right now which is a community plugin that I I, I just love and yeah I'm going to talk I'm going to show you exactly what I mean by that but in general like this allows me to create templates to do weekly reviews and to be able to just write on them quickly but yeah with that said and this is my actual uh, vault with my notes and what I want to show you right now you know I just I just filter some things that are private, uh, but apart from that, this is my working vault. So right now, if we go to settings, as you can see, I did that with control comma, and we go to third party plugins, we can browse for calendar, which right now is the most popular one. But if, if it ever goes down and you can find it, you can just search things here and you go calendar. And in my case, I'm in the latest version, but you will be able to see an install. Right now, I'm just gonna update it just to show you. It's gonna prompt you, it's just gonna say successfully installed. Now, when you go back, it's important that you activate it here. So by default, it's gonna be off, right? If you turn it on, it's gonna work. And if it doesn't work yet, just make sure you close Obsidian and open it again, or you just restart Obsidian um, with whatever shortcut you have for restarting. In my case, is Control R, right? Cool. Now, with that said, uh, we can open the actual calendar view. I am using some shortcuts in here, in case you're curious on how to set those up. I have a link in the description of a blog post, um, you know, to close in and opening panes really quick. Uh, but yeah, with that said, usually you have a pane in here with your backlinks, right? Usually you have your tags, uh, but what you're gonna have now is a calendar view and you already saw it, spoiler, <laughs> this is it. And it's really, really cool. Now I have, I have it already set up, but I'm gonna show you exactly how it works, okay? If you go to the settings and you go down to calendar, here's where you're gonna be able to set things up. Now, I'm gonna go back to this in a second. Now, here's what I turn on, show week numbers, because by default is off, but when you turn it on, you're gonna be able to do the weekly review setup that, we, uh, that I was talking about. Now, a couple of other things here, you can have the format of how you want it. Uh, actually, this is wrong. It needs to be year, year, year. That way it's 2020 and it's gonna detect the year automatically, uh, which right now is 2020, and then it's gonna detect, well, it's gonna put a W just to represent week, and then the week number, uh, which in right now I think we're in week 50. Uh, but yeah, this year, 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 this is the format. You can read more about it uh, in there. You, actually, let me show you real quick. If you go to, if you go to third party, like here, and you open this link, you're gonna be able to read more information or you can scroll it down here, but it's more comfortable to just open GitHub. Either way, uh, calendar. So yeah, now it's formatted correctly, year, year, year. Now this symbol, is completely optional. This is something I use. You don't have to use it. This is how I just uh, mark my private notes so that when I'm doing one of these demos, I can quickly delete everything that has this symbol um, so that nothing private leaks because of course I put private stuff on this calendar um, on these weekly reviews. Now, apart from that, you can also set up templates. Here you can put template. Uh, this is the name of the folder where I keep my templates and weekly reviews is the template that I want to use. And finally, we have weekly notes folder. If in case you want to send this to a folder called weekly, you can do that. I don't like using that many folders, so I like keeping everything in my vault. And then I just organize it based on, on things such as the symbols or, you know, just knowing that this is formatted in the way of a weekly review and I'm going to be able to access it from the calendar. Now, with that said, we have it all set up in here. Now, here's where you can see, you can access all the daily notes that you take, right? And what I, we're gonna explore right now is how to do a weekly review. So right now it's Monday. I usually do my weekly reviews of the past uh, week on Mondays. So right now I want to create a weekly review for uh, week 49 and check this out. As you can see, there's nothing created yet. But when I click on it, 
because I already have this thing right here where it says uh, confirm before creating new node. If you turn this on, it's going to actually ask you like, hey, do you want to create it? But if we turn it off, it's not going to ask you and it's actually going to use the template straight away. So you click on it and it's going to put a template. This is my template for weekly reviews. Now, as you can see, it's already created there. It has these dots. I can do the same for the next week and it's going to create it. It was so quick, but as you can see, it's week 50 already. And in here, all I do is just like fill up what were my successes for the week and so on. And then I can move on next week and it's going to be empty again because it's using the template. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you want to learn a bit more about how to use templates, I covered this in my Obsidian online course. Check it out. I'm going to leave it in the description. And yeah, in there, I just covered templates, how to actually use them and how I actually set up this template in case uh, you don't know yet or if you're still in on the beginner stage. Um, this is slightly more advanced, but it's still very user friendly. And finally, the final thing that I want to cover is this words per dot. This is really cool. I think by default is something higher, like 250, uh, meaning that all of my daily notes are going to have just one dot. This is because my daily notes consist of links. I only put links on my daily notes. Again, in my you've seen an online course, I talk about how I use daily notes. Uh, but yeah, that means that in my in my notes, I only have links on my daily notes. So uh, in order to see which notes have more links, I like using something like 10. 10 works for me. That way I get to see which days have more dots, meaning more links in them, meaning that I worked a lot more in those days and creating notes. Uh, so it's quite a useful thing to visualize. And yeah, again, you can really go quickly through your weekly reviews like this. And I just think it's an amazing, amazing plugin. So I'm really thankful to the creator of this plugin. Uh, if you have the chance to contribute, it's really cool because you can go to the calendar thing. And here should be, oh, all right, interesting. A lot of uh, plugin creators, they usually have a button then here where you can contribute because I really think that even though these things are free, it takes them a lot of work and as supporting them by contributing with a small amount of money, it allows them to keep going and keep creating these amazing tools. So uh, yeah, apparently there's no donation button in this one. So I'm going to contact the creator. So hopefully by the time you see this, there's a contribution button. Uh, but yeah, I'm super thankful to Liam Kane. Amazing. Thank you so much for making this amazing plugin. Super useful, super beginner friendly, and I can't recommend it enough. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you check out my Obsidian online course in case you want to learn more about Obsidian, how to become a power user. Again, that is in the description. And with that said, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.